Today, we'll be diving deep into the lives of the top 10 richest people who have ever walked this earth. Forget Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates. These historical figures amassed wealth that makes modern billionaires look like mere mortals. From emperors and conquerors to industrial magnates, prepare to be amazed by their staggering fortunes. Stick around to find out who tops our list. And here's a question for you to ponder. Who do you think was richer? An ancient emperor or a modern day tech mogul? We'll answer that later in the video. Number one, Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa ruled the Mali Empire in the 14th century, and his wealth is often described as beyond comprehension. He acquired his fortune through Mali's massive production of gold, a resource that was in high demand. On a famous pilgrimage to Mecca, Musa's extravagant spending reportedly caused a gold-induced economic crisis in the regions he passed through. Mansa Musa's empire was known for its wealth, education, and architecture. He is said to have built many mosques and universities that still stand today. His pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324 is legendary, not just for its religious significance, but for the sheer opulence of his entourage, which included thousands of soldiers, attendants, and slaves, each bearing gold. He distributed gold to the poor along his route, and his generosity was so immense that it led to a devaluation of gold in the regions he visited, causing inflation that took years to recover from. Mansa Musa's story is a fascinating glimpse into the power and impact of wealth in ancient times. Number 2. Augustus Caesar Augustus Caesar, the first emperor of Rome, controlled an empire that contributed significantly to the world's economy. His personal wealth, bolstered by his control over Egypt, one of the wealthiest regions of the time, is estimated to be around $4.6 trillion in today's money. Augustus Caesar was not just a ruler, but a strategic economic planner. He implemented reforms that stabilized the Roman economy, established a standing army, and fostered a period of peace known as the Pax Romana. His wealth was derived from various sources, including tributes from conquered lands, state-owned mines, and taxes. His financial acumen helped Rome flourish, and his economic policies set the foundation for the empire's prosperity for centuries. Augustus' wealth wasn't just about personal luxury. It was about controlling an empire that was the center of the ancient world. Number 3. Emperor Shenzong Shenzong of Song ruled over one of China's most prosperous periods. The Song dynasty controlled nearly 30% of the world's wealth, and Shenzong's control over this empire translated into a personal fortune estimated at $30 trillion today. The Song dynasty is often celebrated for its economic revolution. Advances in technology, agriculture, and commerce led to an unprecedented accumulation of wealth. Emperor Shenzong implemented policies that encouraged innovation and trade, such as the introduction of paper money, which facilitated commerce on a large scale. The state monopoly on tea, salt, and other commodities also added to his wealth. The Song Dynasty's economic policies and Shenzong's strategic leadership created a golden age that is still remembered today for its cultural and economic achievements. Number 4. Akbar the Great Akbar the Great of India's Mughal dynasty presided over an empire that accounted for a significant portion of the world's wealth in the 16th century. His fortune, often indistinguishable from the state's wealth, is estimated to be around $21 trillion. Number 5. Joseph Stalin While not a traditional billionaire, Stalin's control over the Soviet Union's economy made him one of the richest individuals in terms of resources and power. The Soviet Union's GDP during his rule was about 9.6% of the global economy translating to a wealth of around $5 trillion. Now let's take a short detour and talk about the power of legacy. Many of these historical figures didn't just accumulate wealth, they built legacies that shaped entire civilizations. For example, Augustus Caesar's Rome laid the foundation for modern Western civilization, while Genghis Khan's conquests influenced trade routes and cultural exchanges that shaped the world. Number 6. Andrew Carnegie 
Andrew Carnegie, a Scottish-American industrialist, led the expansion of the American steel industry in the late 19th century. When he sold his company to J.P. Morgan, the deal was worth $480 million, equivalent to billions today. Adjusted for inflation, his wealth would be around $372 billion. Number 7. John D. Rockefeller Rockefeller's control over Standard Oil and his shrewd business practices made him one of the wealthiest individuals in history. At his peak, his fortune was equivalent to 2% of the U.S. GDP, translating to $355 billion in today's money. Number 8. Jacob Fugger Jacob Fugger, a German banker, financed monarchs and influenced politics across Europe in the 15th and 16th centuries. His wealth, derived from mining and banking, is estimated at $400 billion in today's dollars. Fugger's success was built on his ability to finance and manage large-scale mining operations, as well as his innovative banking practices. He provided loans to kings and emperors, gaining influence and power in return. Fugger's financial acumen helped shape the political landscape of Europe, and his support of the Habsburgs had a lasting impact on European history. His legacy includes not only his immense wealth, but also the Fugger Foundations, which continue to support social and cultural initiatives in Germany. Fugger's life illustrates the power of finance and its role in shaping history. Number 9. Alan Rufus Alan Rufus, or Alan the Red, was a companion of William the Conqueror. His wealth, primarily from land grants, was around 7% of England's GDP at the time, translating to $194 billion today. Alan Rufus' wealth came from his close relationship with William the Conqueror, who rewarded him with vast estates for his loyalty and military service. These lands generated significant income, making Rufus one of the wealthiest men in medieval England. His wealth allowed him to build castles and fortifications, solidifying his power and influence. Rufus' life is a reminder of the role of land and military service in the accumulation of wealth in medieval Europe. Number 10. Genghis Khan Genghis Khan, the founder of the Mongol Empire, controlled an empire that spanned a significant portion of the globe. Though he didn't amass wealth in the traditional sense, his control over resources and lands was unparalleled. Genghis Khan's legacy is marked by his extraordinary military conquests and the creation of the largest contiguous empire in history. His success was built on his ability to unite the Mongol tribes and his strategic brilliance in warfare. Genghis Khan's empire controlled vast resources, including the Silk Road trade routes, which brought immense wealth and cultural exchange. Despite his power, Genghis Khan is known for his relatively modest personal lifestyle and his efforts to distribute wealth among his followers. His life is a testament to the power of leadership and the impact of conquest on wealth and history. Question for you. What do you think is more valuable? Amassing wealth or leaving a lasting legacy? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And there you have it. The top 10 richest people in history. These individuals didn't just possess wealth. They held power and influence that shaped the world as we know it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more fascinating stories and insights. See you in the next video.